Welcome to Collecting Chaos. My name is James and this is a short video about something I picked up recently. Now, uh, Steve Ditko is a pretty well-known artist. Uh, unfortunately, you know, we're with us. And, of course, best known for the creation of the Spider-Man look. Uh, or the original Spider-Man look. But he did a lot of other stuff, too. Uh, the first thing he ever had published was in uh, Daring Love Store, or Daring Love uh, comic, and it was a six-page short, and it was published in 1953, I believe, October 1953. And the second thing that he ever uh, published, or had published, was some inking that he did. He, he didn't do the full inks, but he did partial inks over a Jack Kirby book, and that's what I have here. Let me zoom in a little, uh, zoom out a little bit so you can actually see the whole book. This is a really nice copy. This is from, it says a cover date of December 1953. It is considered golden age. It's in gorgeous condition. Uh, I'm, it's got a, a few, a little bit of spine stress, but just amazing white pages or, or white uh, yeah, send this book into CGC and it'll probably get a uh, cleaned label even though it hasn't been. And uh, the pages are off-white, which is just marvelous. Of course, it's it's 3D and it comes with 3D glasses, of which they're in there. So that's even better. So there you go. That's, uh, that's what I wanted to show you. Now, this isn't just the first, just the second work of... Steve Ditko. It is the first time he inked over Jack Kirby's pencils. And that's who did the artwork in this is Jack Kirby. Uh, <laughs> so it's a, it's doubly good there. And um, it's also the first work he did concerning a superhero. So there you go. Nice little video about a, a comic that uh, is way undervalued in my opinion. I didn't pay a whole lot for this and it's in wonderful shape uh, so uh, see you later on uh, I do have a toy sale that I'll be doing at 5 p.m. Central uh, tonight and uh, hopefully I'll see you there bye